Hi, I'm Ben McSheffrey, and I'm the Technical Training Manager for Simmons Industries. Today I'll show how to install the Simmons MaxLine 8210CK thermostatic mixing valve. The MaxLine TMV has new features that make it easier to install, easier to adjust, and easier to maintain. Let's take a look at what we'll need to get started. The tools needed to install the MaxLine will vary depending on your specific application. But for most installations, you'll need the following items. A drill with a bit that's appropriate for drilling into the material where the valve will be mounted. Screws or fasteners to secure the valve mounting bracket. An adjustable wrench. A T20 Torx wrench, sometimes referred to as a star screwdriver. And a thermometer, either dial type or digital. One of the great things about the Max line is its versatility. There are so many applications where it can be used, but it would be difficult to cover them all in one video. So, we'll show the most common scenario, which is supplying tempered water to a sensor faucet in a commercial or public bathroom. In most commercial situations, the temperature of the hot water supply in the building is much higher than what is allowed by code for hand washing. The MaxLine TMV is a simple and reliable way to temper that water to a safe and acceptable temperature. Most under deck locations are pretty tight, but try to choose a spot that gives enough clearance to the top of the cap, mainly to access and remove the cartridge for adjustments and servicing. The valve can be mounted in any orientation, sideways, upside down. The direction won't affect the performance at all. Every MaxLine TMV is shipped with a strong metal bracket for mounting. Once you've picked your location, mark a spot for the mounting bracket and drill a hole for the screw. Then, just screw the bracket to the surface and snap in the valve. The three water connections on the Max line are cold water inlet, hot water inlet, tempered or mixed water outlet. Each port on the Max line has an engraved letter, C for cold water, H for hot water, and M for mixed tempered water. The Max line can be piped in a variety of ways depending on the fixture it is feeding. For our example, the Max line is supplying tempered water to a sensor faucet that only has a single supply, so our piping is easy. Using 3 8 compression tubing or flexible connectors, connect the hot water to the hot inlet and the cold water to the cold inlet, and then connect the tempered water outlet to the single supply line of the faucet. After we've installed the Max line, we'll turn on the water and set the temperature to meet code and safety requirements. The temperature setting may vary depending on your situation or location, but for this training, we'll set our outlet temperature at 110 degrees. First, use a Torx T20 wrench to remove the screw from the top of the gray adjustment cap and set it aside in a safe place. The cap itself is used to adjust the temperature by turning the cartridge until the preferred temperature is reached. However, the cap has a knurled ring on the inside that acts as a lock to prevent tampering. So lift it up slightly out of the locking ring to allow it to spin. Turn on the water to the faucet and let it run for a minute or so to get the hot water flowing. Then, using the thermometer, check the temperature at the spout. Slowly turn the cap to adjust the temperature. The cap is embossed with directions, clockwise for colder and counterclockwise for hotter. Once the flow is at the preferred temperature, push the cap back down until it locks on the knurled ring and reinstall the screw with the Torx wrench. And that's how you install and adjust a MaxLine TMV from Simmons. Now, go, wash your hands. Really? Ted, wash your hands. If you have any questions related to the installation of this or any Simmons product, do not hesitate to call our technical support team at 1-800-SIMMONS. On behalf of the entire team at Simmons, thanks and have a great day.